morning, ladies and gentlemen. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Has anyone listened to any television, newspaper, or other accounts that describe a case conducted any internet or personal research or investigation or online discuss this case from the evening? Yeah. Yeah. All negative responses. Good thing. Complying with that uh, admonition, we are ready to continue with Detective Luber's testimony. Uh, recall yesterday when we stopped, the state had um, questioned Detective Luber and uh, entered into evidence a, um, a recording uh, of a statement allegedly made by the, uh, by the defendant. So there is for your consideration in this case a recorded statement allegedly made by the defendant. It is your function to determine whether or not the statement was actually made by the defendant and if made whether the statement or any portion of it is credible. You may consider all the circumstances surrounding the statement when making that determination with the following caution. I instruct you that in this case, certain portions of the recorded statements have not been provided to you. You may only consider those portions of the statements which have been admitted in evidence. You must not speculate as to the contents of your admission or the reasons for your admission. With that, Mr. Mendez, you may proceed. Thank you, Detective, we were discussing S-157. You indicated that was a statement from the defendant? Yes. And when was that statement taken? August 31st, 2019. And how long after the homicide? This was his second statement? Yes, sir. Was it his first or his second one? Six published forensic inspections of the room? Correct. Okay. All right, so, so you know you remember me today, you know, uh, I know you work with prosecutor's office, then, um, a bunch of things I want to talk to you about, all right, I'm going to go through you with, uh, but first I got to go through a couple things that you have some, some charges that have been filed against you, okay, when you work on the case. So, these are the charges that we, that I want to talk to you about, okay. Uh, within the jurisdiction of this court, Douglas Douglas Lewis did purposely cause the death of Shaquille Williams, specifically by shooting him with a firearm, resulting in his death in violation of uh, what's called uh, knowingly murder, murder, knowingly and purposely, a crime of the first degree. So Lewis did knowingly cause the death of Shaquille Williams, specifically by shooting him with a firearm, resulting in his death, another first degree crime. That's the knowingly. So you purposely and knowingly. Uh, Douglas Lewis did purposely possess a firearm with the purpose of using it unlawfully against Shaquille Williams, simply by discharging a firearm at Shaquille Williams, resulting in his death in violation of the uh, unlawful possession of a weapon. That's a crime of the second degree. Douglas Lewis did have his, did, uh, had in his possession a firearm under circumstances not manifestly appropriate for such lawful uses, which means that you possess a firearm without having a permit. I never had no firearm. So, this is what I'm going to talk to you about, though. But in order to talk to you, you have rights, okay? You have rights that you have and that I have to give you. So, before you and I can have a conversation, I do have to read your rights. And then I would love to talk to you about this. But in order to do so, I need to read your rights. I need to make sure that you understand your rights, okay? So, let me read you your rights and then you can talk about them. Uh, you do read and write the English language, correct? You understand the English language. Okay. You have the right to remain silent. Do you understand that? Yes. Okay. So I'm going to write yes for you. And you say can will be get used against you in court of law. Do you understand that? Yes. You have the right to talk to a lawyer and have him or her present with you while you're being questioned. Do you understand that? If you cannot afford a lawyer to hire a lawyer, one will be appointed at no cost to represent you before any question. If you, uh, if you wish, do you understand that? Yes. yes. If you agree to talk to us, the decision to waive these rights is not final, and you may withdraw your waiver whenever you wish, either before or during questions. Do you understand that? Yes. Okay. Yes. I have not have been advised of and understand my constitutional rights as from this court. You need to be able to do it, okay? Alright, it's August 31st, the 3rd of 19. 8.30. The time is 9.30. I'm 
with your with your rights being read, you don't want to talk to me about this? Go ahead. Alright. So, you're being charged with the murder of your four witnesses. March 31st, 2017, in San Bernardino. How am I being charged with it? I didn't do nothing wrong. Okay. They took my clothes everything. Okay. Absolutely. I didn't have nothing. I didn't have no gun, nothing. Okay, no gun was found on you. That was there. Yes. So, how am I being charged with a gun? Right there. But, you're being charged with the murder, so, in order for the shooting of the murder, you had a gun, you used a gun to kill the two witnesses. Alright, so how am I being charged with a murder? Okay. So, in the course of our investigation, you know, we talked back, you didn't talk to me that night, you talked to another detective that night. That was when you, when you came out of Manny's house, that was when you, you came, you gave a statement that your statement was that you were in Manny's house when you heard five or six gunshots you got on the ground, and eventually you came outside, people said they were calling 911, and um, um, you went back in the house, and then you heard via Facebook that your friend Shaquille was the one who got, that got killed. I came outside, people saying they're calling the cops, they're running up and down the street, car parked right there, yeah. looked down, then I went right back inside, cops came, showed up, everything. I know, we know that's not true, though, okay? That's I swear to God, I'm not going to We know that that's not true. Listen, uh, Danielle and I have been doing this investigation for 15 months now, okay? Uh, and we got enough information and enough witnesses that sit there and put you there. Put you there and put you as the shooter, okay? Put you as the shooter. The shooter, yes. Of Shaquille, when Eddie and Heidi stopped at that stop sign, and on, on Kids Lane Bush, they stop at the stop sign, and you run up there, and you're the first shooter. Now, you're not the only one. Listen, no, you're, just gonna, you're not the only one, though. Listen, you're not the only one that did that that night, and I get that. I didn't you're, do nothing. I don't have no problem with you or none of that. It doesn't matter now. Here's the thing. A lot of people have a problem with Kill. But Kill, Kill also robbed Shaq Crowley months prior. That's not my thing. I understand that. Do it. That was one thing. Getting a, maybe you, you got an order to do so. Maybe order. you were ordered by somebody else, a, a big homie. Somebody else gave an order to do so. Listen, 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 order. listen, 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 list
No, 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 it's going to let you hang back positive on your hands. You're shooting a gun. What, it was on my hands? You have a gun residue on your hands. <laughs> oh my God, are you serious? Yeah. Oh, man. I mean, it's true. What do you think? You have, when you have eyewitnesses that are putting you there. I don't think you're the only one that's shot because I don't believe you're the only one. Sir, I did not shoot. I'm telling you the truth. I'm telling you the truth. I did not shoot nobody. Eyewitnesses are telling us different. They'll watch it. Science is also telling us. Science doesn't lie. Just like DNA doesn't lie. Science doesn't lie. So, when science comes back to saying that Doug Lewis had gun residue on his hands from firing a gun, that doesn't lie. You just don't make that up out of anything. It's an independent company that tests your hands. It doesn't lie. Listen, you've been on the streets for how long? Okay. So how long you been on the streets? How long have you been on the streets? How long have you been running on the streets? How long have you been running with Kayvon? How long have you been running with Javon? How long have you been running with Javon? First of all, I wasn't running with the group. I knew that ever since I was a kid. Okay. So, you're hanging out there. Now listen, we knew you were all hanging out there that, that day. Everyone saw you hanging out there that day. I said I was hanging out there. Absolutely. And I'm not lying. I was running the same stuff there all day long. Absolutely. Just recap it. Just recap it. And then somebody, either Kayvon and Dollar or C. Shaq, running, riding around somewhere. First time he's been back, he just got back from the event. And you know Shaq, Rob Shaq, probably. You know that. Dollar knows that. Kayvon knows that. He's, yeah. got, he's, got, he's got to pay. In, in your eyes, and what the streets and what the, what the body boots say, what the blood set thinks, is that he's got to pay for that. He robbed one of you guys. He robbed one of these guys. He robbed none of those guys. First of all, it's me. I'm not worried about no other man. Okay, I'm, just I'm not worried about no other man. It's a name. And you know, listen, and they know the first person to tell you. Get with us in Sunbury or anybody's talk out there. Ain't it ain't easy. And the first person they say, who shot? Who shot Shaq? Oh, fresh. Fresh. Fresh shot Shaq. He was the first person to run up to that car and start shooting. First person. Think about what you can do to help yourself. 
because obviously there was a second shooter that rounded that car with you, okay, that shot with you, okay. You want to help yourself out. We first need to get right with what happened that night. And this is both. This is to get right with what happened that night. We know. I know what happened that night. I know exactly what you did and what happened, where you went afterwards, and where where we got you from that night. If once you come clean and come to admit that that's what happened, then you know just as well as I know that that happened. I've known this a long time, and I've I've gotten this whole secret gift me. Uh, from other people that have done the same type of thing that you did. So once you get right with that, Doug, and then you decide what can you do for yourself. And what you can do for yourself is one, tell me exactly what happened. Two, tell me what happened, who grabbed that car with you and shot with you. Now, and three, if you were ordered to do so, listen to me, if you were ordered to do so out of fear, out of if, if you didn't do it, you were food, if you didn't do it, you were ready to get killed because this was an order of disrespecting an order from a higher ranking person in the, in the set. That's something that we can talk about, okay? Um, but the whole thing of, I swear my grandmother, that doesn't work anymore. That doesn't work here, okay? What works here is, listen, what works here is you and I having a man to man conversation and being real and being honest with each other because I've given you a lot of information. I want to figure out, like, how does the gun really do on my hand? And the palm is on the back of your own hand. So, so think about it. You can hold a tattoo. You can look at everything you You want to make it up. I mean, it's there. That's the one thing. All right, let's, just, let's forget about me. Forget about anything else because if you think that people are lying and fabricating shit against you. All right, well, that's, 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 that's true. Like, I did not do it. I'm telling you the truth. You got a question in. You got to go put the charge on this because I didn't do it. Who? Who left? Who left? Who left? Yeah. It was Dollar, Vince, Tony, and Ryan. Who left? 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 I did not shoot at all, sir. I'm telling you the truth. I did not shoot at all. I'm not lying to you. Okay, how many papers is done? Let's just say for a brief moment we believe. Let's just say for a brief moment we're walking through the night. This is what happened. We were all out there smoking, chilling. Uh, It was slow, bent, down. Me, Donald, was about to fight because over fucking innings, talking shit, I guess, whatever the case may be, saying that he's police and this and that and third. So he tried to come at her like he better check the jail. So we started arguing and we was about to fight. He throws the bottle in the middle of the street. There was liquor bottle in the middle of the street. I'm telling the truth. I'm telling the truth. I'm going to go to us. So far, I already had that portion. And you'll see that in my report. Now you know there's a friendly bottle right now. Yeah. So right now, if you be truthful, just keep going. So these each other. Chills pulls up. Picks up heat. Across the street. I pick what's up to them. I walk across the street. There's Slum, Bench, Dollar. Uh, Slum was ready to fight Dollar because how he was coming. So. After that, I walk across the street, I'm smoking with a uh, man, you know, on the porch. And then all of a sudden, gunshots, uh, gunshots started going off, which I didn't have nothing to do with, because I was across the street. Now, there's a whole bunch of people over there. There was Shania, Slum's girl, uh, KB, um, some other girl. Slum, Bench, Dollar, and Smithers. Gunshots, the gunshots are going. Now, I don't know where it's coming from. Me and Ben go in the house. We come back outside. We see the car parked right there. We're like, yo, somebody got shot. Some, everybody started running. Now, I don't know where Slum, 
begged and dotted one. I don't know. So you come outside, now the cops come over right here, flying, flying. That's all. And then we stayed in the house. Went back to the house. They said we can't be around the murder or something like that. We went back to the house. And ever since then, the cops been out front. So I had to go home. And they picked me up. Came outside. They said, you uh, uh, they searched me now in front of that car. That's everything that happened. Okay. And everybody, even even the little girl, I, I guess it was Shaq's sister, saying, oh, I know, I know it was Banks, blah, blah, this and that and the third. Screaming, screaming name. I was still out there. If I had something to do with it, I would have rained. Rained. Why? Why? Mm-hmm. Because why would I be getting caught out there? Who was you? Because I know you know, because everybody in Summer knows. And like Tony said, gay people come forward, you can know what he And it's not, you know, it, it is a long past. But there are people out there that do it. Because they're tired. And obviously, you're still a woman. And you know that. That boy had his own problems. I think you should be in one of them. I understand that. Addiction, that has nothing to do with Addiction has nothing to do with because my brother is on some shit too. So I don't look at nobody different. Me and him was cool. We used to ride dirt bikes and everything with Antoine, Warden, all of them. I used to chill with all of them. Ride dirt bikes, everything. I used to be with them 24 7 when my dad was living on top of our room under Jamal's house.
in part of the same scenario which you actually said as part of it. There's a fight, you guys are going to argue, bottom of it. Why does it matter? Because listen, I can fight with Danielle tomorrow, and if I need to see that, it doesn't work that way. I think he comes up, fuck whatever we got going on. I know it's not good. It's not hard. Again, it's part of the crew that you're hanging with, John. I'm just listening. The crew, all that shit, that shit is out the window. Now it's. Oh, 
14 shots ring out on the corner of Kingley and Bush Street. At 10 o'clock at night, we're not talking 2 in the morning where people are shooting. 10 o'clock at night in the middle of the street on a nice fresh night, which windows are probably open, to talk about March. One person. One person finally feels like shit that they see an innocent man bleeding to death. Bleeding to death. Did he care? Did he go back to see if his boy was alive? He was shot. He knew exactly what just took place. Did he call 911? No. None of you guys give a shit about this shit. You don't care about anybody but yourself. That's it. Nobody out there. Nobody, the fucking SPD boys, the Johnny boys, whatever the hell you want to call yourself today. Nobody cares about themselves, anybody else but themselves. Today I'm right with you, tomorrow, tomorrow your food. That's how it is. That's the street. I get that. That's cool. Whatever. I don't care. You know what I feel bad for? Ange. First she loses fucking norm, and now she's about to lose you. I mean, really? She's not a bad girl. She has a fucking mouth on her, and you may not like to hear her ask you something. Well, she's a good girl. Before. You want to know what happened? I didn't know who got shot. I heard shots. So when I came outside, I should have called a car there. The cops was already coming.
on Back Street. Anyway, you can get over the windows. You can sit there and argue that these people are on on our side or on Kitty side or on side. Uh, That's uh, right. Uh, so you're right. Uh, you can people. Uh, truth, I would have been okay. They can lie. You're right. There's one thing that can't lie, and that is where you're going to get hung. And you know, because every time we talk about it, you put your head down. You know, you know that. Oh, that and, uh, when we talk about the gunshot residue, you go like this. The gunshot residue, I'm like, I don't even see it. Because I don't believe it. I didn't shoot nothing. I didn't shoot nothing. You see it, though. Give me the whole head. I didn't do it. I didn't do it. Yeah, so you know that there's no way to Yeah. 
that's adapted so it had to be in close proximity, real close proximity, to the time it had to come. Well, that's why we don't understand. The whole world is closed. It doesn't matter if it's on your hands. You're sitting at man. You said you said you said you're sitting at man's house when the shooting happens. That's where your scenario where you said that was no reason to live. That's what we're trying to understand. So where was the Well, I don't know how them rest do is all my shit. I don't understand that. I really don't. I'm telling you the honest truth, but I didn't shoot nobody. Kill yourself, man. Kill yourself. Okay. And he was not. Okay. Yeah. And you had a conversation with me just prior to Shaq's arrival. Again, I can't change the facts. But how was it to your door? I want to see that because I know for a fact I never shot no gun. I'm telling you, I can't tell you. You're going to get it. Yeah, I never shot no gun. That, that's the thing. One shot. You're right. You are right. Okay, but explain the gunshot residue to me. I just asked you. Did you shoot a gun? We walked through yeah. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday, the day that he filmed. Walked through every single day. Hey, Doug, did you just try to fire off any other day? No, I didn't. 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 You know, you know that. That's where you're going to be screwed. I understand that that's going to go to the case on the line. I'm going to, don't worry. I still need to go down to the people because there's a second shooter. There's a second shooter on that right? You know, don't forget it. There's a second shooter. There's two shooters. Yeah, there is two shooters. Two shooters. And it's not me. But then how does the gunshot rescue you get on your hands? I don't know. I really don't know. And then you were out there and saw it. Uh, you saw it. They don't want to that gun. I never got that's not the issue. You saw the shooting, though. No, I did not. You did so. You saw it out of hand. I was outside. When the gun started shooting, we got, we got low because we thought we were outside. You didn't get low. But at the time, just prior to shooting, you know there's something on. You do know there's something You wouldn't be telling me. Why would you be telling me to look at these two people? You don't want to get this person to be charged. You wouldn't be telling me to look at Tom and Max. Because they were the only ones that had guns. You know that. Carl 
Right. My car was in the driveway. Even the cops were aware that Aaron's house. I'm trying to do the to keep it back against Yeah. I am trying to help myself by telling you the truth. By telling you the truth. I'm telling you the truth. I believe or I would say I believe the science. And I believe the scenario the scenario that you that you that you spun on us was you great are, I understand what you are. What? The scenario that you spun for us was great up until the point of the shooting. Because at the shooting you weren't with me. We knew that. That's what I was with the I was in front of the shadow.
they don't remember is what happened that night. I mean, I mean, you remember shooting a gun. It's not like it's an everyday occurrence. No, maybe you lost a shot in the woods. Maybe. Maybe. If you shot a gun in the woods, when did you shoot the gun in the woods? Not at all Tuesday, even hanging out for me in the afternoon when you guys were chilling? No. No, 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 Thank you. 
to do on your game? Sometimes it's hard to do. It's hard to do sometimes that day. That's what you can't hide from. You're not going to be able to hide from it. So you might want to think of another version of that. To be honest, to be honest, I didn't shoot one. Now, no for a fact, I didn't shoot that then at all. I mean, who no gun in front of that? Listen, I did not shoot at nobody. I'm telling you the truth. Okay, I'm going to tell you. The whole son married on his family. You know why? Because my family don't live out here. That's exactly what I'm saying. Well, that's what I'm telling you. I told you that from jump. I yeah. said, if you have to start thinking about you, because nobody else is going to think about you. I don't care about you. He's telling you. He didn't make this shit up. out there, we can still continue to talk to people, 
and we do it in banks and pay phones too. Now we've got three issues. And that you guys played out in court. And that's where the attorneys are going to end up. Going. But ultimately, at the end of the day, all the pay phones are going to start right away. Because I don't understand how I've got some money to do all my business.
oh, this is my brother, this is my brother. And then the little girl, and then she ran up there. And then that's when the cops, well, the cops already came. And she ran up there, that's my brother, that's my brother. So then it's the same car that killed him already in. So when he pulled out, I did the shit in the headlights. That's the only thing I'm saying. With the headlights. And the car was stuck right there. That's the only thing I'm saying.
Yeah, yeah, for saying she's saying that you admit to that, but you keep saying that I'm still a man who's forced on the shoe and stuff. We know you are a man who's forced on the shoe. We know it. We know it. We know it. Okay? And you get aggravated, but it's just your body and your mind are a lot of money. I know the truth. I know the truth. I was there. Y'all was there. I know the truth. You're already money there. All right then. I know the truth. That's what I'm trying to tell you about. But I still understand that I have a giant puzzle that keeps going everywhere. And I have it, that's how you know. And some people say that, and then I put another piece together, and I put another piece together, and there's so many holes still in it. And that's where you come in to be able to fill those holes and be explained. You're part of where you're at, why why are you even in the area, or why are you seeing, or why are these people saying that you're seeing? I'm out there. I'm out there. I get that. Why are you shooting on the eagle? Why are you shooting shooting? Why is this happening? Why are you protecting? I wasn't nowhere near that vehicle when there was that shot song. Nowhere. Yeah, you were saying you were the first one in there. Yeah, but I was the first one in there. Yeah, but I was the first one in there. Yeah, but I was the first one in there. Yeah, but I was the first one in there. Yeah, but I was the first one in there. Yeah, but I was the first one in there. Yeah, but I was the first one in there. Yeah, but I was the first one in there. Yeah, but I was the first one in there. Yeah, but I was the first one in there. Yeah, but I was the first one in there. Yeah, but I was the first one in there. Yeah, but I was the first one in there. Yeah, but I was the first one in there. Yeah, but I was the first one in there. Yeah, but I was the first one in there. Yeah, but I was the first one in there. Yeah, but I was the first one in there. Yeah, but I was the first one in there. Yeah, but I was the first one in there. Yeah, but I was the first one in there. Yeah, but I was the first one in there. Yeah, but I was the first one in there. Yeah, but I was the first one in there. Yeah,
and the fucking slum habit. Kill schools up with the I was that then. Slum with the uh I don't know who else that about. They caught me out of the car, came over in the middle of the street, slum in the slum slum the dial the hard one. Uh Bates walked away. Bates and Slum walked away with each other. I don't know if Dollar handed him the, the thing or whatever. They walked away, killed Pooh Ball with all um, the, I don't know how long it been, probably 40 minutes, I'm not sure. Walks, I walked to uh, Mimi's house on the porch. That's when West was sitting right there, and Mimi's on the porch. He just sits out there all day, 24 7. So I walked back in the middle of the street. I was still talking shit. Uh, slum, slum and Bates already walked off. I don't know where they went. Then when I heard a gunshot, I was already almost walking to the court, to Nate's court. I was already right here. What did you look up? I seen it. What did you see? Gunshots. What do you mean? You're telling me how you're walking towards Nate's court. I mean, you got your head looking down the road? I'm definitely like, because of the house right here. Mm-hmm. He's in front of the Swanish house, wherever that girl came from. It's right here. I'm walking. Okay. So up. here's the name now. You're walking up. I'm walking up right now. The car, the car is like on the side. I'm right here. Smith right there. And I'm walking. It's like a, it's like a guy in that act. Like, straight. I'm walking. I see the gun, I heard the gun first shot, there was only one, boom! Now I'm like, boom! Now I'm getting along, I'm already on Mimi's porch. And you look up at that point? Huh? You looking up at that point? I already seen it. When I seen the gun, when I seen the fire, I didn't know who was coming my way or what. Who shooting? Slum and Vince. You can see it with your own eyes. I seen them. Where they were? You think? You had like a jean jacket on. Who did? Your sweats. Who? Slum. Okay, and what did Bank have? A hood? Uh, she had to hold up, yeah? Oh. Okay, she had to hold up. Take something in a jean jacket with a switch. Yeah. Anything on her head? No. Anything in your head? No. And then what happened? People run. Stop the running, okay? Stop the running. I did uh, ask the to just rewind it a little bit because I think when I stopped the audio, it kept playing, so we rewind it for a minute. The car, the car is like on the side, I'm right here, Smith right here, and I'm walking. Just like a, just like a new guy in that act, like straight. I'm walking. I see the gun, I heard the gun the first time, there was only one. Boom! Oh. I talked to this brother 